Hi, everybody. My name is Jeffrey Gittimer. You may know me as the author of The Little Red Book of Selling. And to my right, the great Jeb Blunt. We, we call Jeffrey the king of sales. I'm the jester of sales. Cool. Hey, guys. Struggling with this cold calling objection I commonly hear on calls these days. Right after I'm done with my introduction or I'm midway in the conversation, the prospect says, just send me information or email me, kind of like I did. Um, wondering if anyone has a good way of handling this. Sure. Well, there's a couple of ways you can handle it. I do say, I'll be happy to bring you information. It all comes attached to me. See you at Thursday at 2. And that works when you're super, super confident because emotions transfer. If I'm not feeling confident, I use a, a an objection turnaround process that pulls out another objection. Oh my God, Jeffrey, that's fantastic. I'm so glad that you're interested in our information. You're the first person today. <laughs> yeah, but the thing is, we got a lot of information and as busy as you are, the last thing I want to do is just dump a whole bunch of stuff on your email. Mm -hmm. So what specific information would you be looking for? Mine is, Mr. Jones, I'm more than happy to send you information because I, I think you should agree with the person rather than combat the person. But my generic information is not quite self-explanatory. However, there's part two of my information, which is customized information. And for that, we're going to need a little bit more dialogue. And then I'd like to show mm -hmm. up and explain it to you if that's okay. I think that's great. Is that fair enough? All right. Now let's go for the next one. Uh, this is objection handling by Big Papa Woke Lord. Woke, woke, woke Lord. There we go. <laughs> I just started in sales. I sold cars for about three months over the summer, and then we went right into being an SDR. Here's what SDRs do. This is the, the account executives who are too good to prospect talk the boss into hiring another layer of salespeople who Got do you. the prospecting. Kind of so they can say oh, that was a bad who lead. Who are good at closing. But no, 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 they're a, this is a bad lead. It's a bad lead, right? Yeah. Exactly, it's a bad lead. But I, I I have a problem with that. So if you can't ask for someone's time, I'm not sure how you can ask for somebody's money. Um, so my issue is that I'm really bad with objection handling. Most specifically, we already have a vendor objection. And now look, if somebody says we already have a vendor. They're saying I'm already happy. No, what they're saying is I'm buying your stuff. From somebody I'm else. Buying. It doesn't matter. I'm buying right. it. I know, but there's but they're happy buying their stuff from somebody else. They think they're and happy. And everybody's happy. Well, they, no, they but they're, they're all they're... happy when they when you call yeah. them. Your job is to make them unhappy. You can't get them unhappy until you get their time. And Mr. Jones, most people that I talk to are happy with their present vendor, but let me share something with you. They're only happy with what they know to be happy. And we have an awful lot of customers that were happy with their present suppliers that now have chosen us. And there's three specific reasons, but I'd really like to be in front of you to talk to you about it. So the last word is objections are fun. Uh, Jeb has a new book out called Objections. You can go onto Amazon and pre-order it. I recommend that you do that pretty much right now. But I also want to tell you that if you're in the world of sales and you treat objections as fun and as a challenge, you're going to win. Yeah, I love that. That's a great way of looking at it.